week before I had to come here, I threw my back off. It just, my sacroiliac joint went crazy. And um, I didn't know what to do. I thought I was not coming. And I asked my family, I said, what do you think I should do? And everybody, except my mom and my husband said, you shouldn't go. I mean, you, what are you gonna get from it? If you can't move, if you can't do anything, it's gonna look bad. And then I said, well, why is it that my husband and my mom said go? I mean, do they want to get rid of me or what's going on? And I said, I think it's because they know real. They're the only ones that said, it doesn't matter your state of mind or body. They know he's going to accept it. So I did the next logical thing. I called one of my Bessie family members. I called Jody in Arizona and I said, Jody, this is, you know, my state at the moment. What do you think I should do? Everybody says I should cancel my trip. And she said, listen to me and listen good. I don't care what you have to do. I don't care what you have to take. You are going. And if you're not going to be on that plane, I'm going to take your spot. <laughs> so you better get your ass there. And um, that just shows you, you know, that you can choose family. And I definitely chose Bassi. Um, uh, my name is Tali. I'm from Israel. Um, I graduated from uh, Bassi Conference, of course, at, in 98. Uh, that was a long time ago, and um, I must say I feel, um, uh, <laughs> I said to you yesterday, I feel like I'm um, uh, like not deserving of being here. It's just, I've known Rail for so long, I've known Basi for so long, and been proud of being a Basi member for so long, but I wasn't a part of um, Basi becoming this. And um, I'm back in the family now, and I must say I feel very loved and embraced. And um, I hope I can make a little change by coming back into the family. And to tell you the truth, that's what made me understand this. I mean, Jody was very funny by saying, you know, you get your ass on that plane. But the one thing she said to me was, listen, this is not about the exercises. What's going to happen there, you are going to be surrounded by love and support. And that's where you want to be when you feel like that. And that's when I told you, you know what, Jody? everything you said until now, I was still thinking about it. You saying that now, I totally get it. So um, that's me and the Bassett family. And to me, real, really, um, stands for the essence of Pilates. If talking about it, I've seen rail in different cultures and different places, talking to in different languages to, to different people. And just like Pilates, he's very adaptable. Like he, he's totally different when he's here and when he's in Israel and when he's in America. But the essence of rail and the passion is always the same. He just knows how to connect differently not the way he knows how to connect, but the way the person in front of it needs him to connect. And um, that's purely the essence of Pilates. And um, this is why I love you so much. So um, one last thing, just like Pilates, <laughs> Rel knows how to be very hard on you when you feel perfect, but you're not trying enough. And then be very forgiveful, forget, for, forgiving. forgiving when you look terrible, but you can see you're making such an effort. And I totally see that with your relationship to me. And I applaud you for it, and I thank you for it. It's taught me a lot. And um, one last thing. I want to give my friend from Lebanon a nice hug. Wow. <laughs> Know that everything is possible. It's just body and 
and mind and love. And if we can, in some way, through Pilates, <laughs> show the world that the peace is just a step away. We just need to make a decision 